and soon you can see it is fleshy and fresh that is the best jackfruit I would love. Before me, that is Uganda's only national stadium. It is called Mandela National Stadium. Well, the construction of this stadium was funded by the Chinese. Yes, and it was started by Obote. The whole negotiations and everything were started by Obote. Then Museveni put his agreement, all this, he signed the final agreement to start everything but it was an obote thing so these are the marabu stocks and around here it is can i call it a dumping site of course it was public land or free land so people started dumping here their rubbish and this is how it looks like so people are trying to get out some Polythene. Of course, there are several companies that are recycling polythene, so they're trying to get out polythene and then load it on two trucks and then take it for recycling. Right down is a factory. Can I call it a factory? I think it's not a factory. They make bricks, 99 bricks, construction bricks. So that explains that Uganda or around Kampala construction works are still going on those are very many bricks over there so i want to say what do you think of this rubbish do you think this rubbish would one time disappear or people need to stop pouring their rubbish then it can stop that is it drop me an answer in the comment section let me know what you think The marabus are always attracted by the rubbish. Of course, in this rubbish there is some fresh foods they can try to tap on and the bones. So for the foods, I think it's for the other white egrets and the ravens. Where is it? Yeah, the ravens, that one. And those can eat something raw. Then these ones are for meat, I think. Are still dumping forever dumping forever dumping that is the town of Chireka and the other side behind the, the stadium it is Boyogede well this side I don't know which town it is if you know please let me know which town it is maybe it is still Boyogede even this side yeah They're making bricks for construction, like you can see the other wall, there is a, a wall, those are the kind of bricks they are making. And the stadium is also currently under refurbishment. Also, that is one of the stadiums that are going to host the 2027 up call. Well, I don't know if we are going to build another, because we also have Nachivubo. Then I think from Nachivubo we shall also use St. Mary's stand, which is a privately owned one. Then which means those are three for Kenya. They already have four in plan. They're going to construct more four stadiums. Around here, this is the Chireka town. That is Chireka. The town mainly is that side, behind that side. Chireka shopping center right there. And this is supposed to be the market. This is where the market or the market vendors convene. But well, some of the kiosks have been demolished. The small temporary houses have also been demolished. So they want them off such that they can do their things. And yeah, I think that's what is happening right here. I want to go straight to the other part.
So here they did not put the slippers. The slippers are down, but they had to put some extra concrete to have it firm because of the moving cars and motorcycles. And this way it's only concrete stones. The other side it is concrete. So here it was. It's where most of the vendors, or the market vendors, used to convene all their structures. Of course, the structures were temporarily. All of them were demolished, just like this side. And this is supposed to be the waiting area where well, they haven't built it. They will, I think, build it around there. And yeah, I'm heading towards the city center. So after being displaced from the other side, they decided to shift and put it and everything this side. I think I'm going to go through. Now they put all their okay their merchandise and it's like they're putting the market this side. Let's go through the market. That is the side of Naguru and around there it is NBS. That's why it is and yeah. This is where they're putting their stuff, but trying to find new areas to have their businesses continue booming. Hopefully, they are they're given a new area, or they find a new area, or the authorities give them a new area. Of course, there is a, a little tax they pay. Is it right to call it little or small? Some fee they pay, which is supposed to maintain the place clean it and yeah it would be great for the council or the authorities of the of the district of the municipal or the municipality of Nansana so let's go through here Even here, the structures were built and the, uh, sorry, were demolished. And the demolition, it's like it's continuing. I see authorities down there. Yeah, it is mad here. Someone wants to enter into my camera. Bananas, bananas, yellow bananas, old bananas. messy a little bit messy around here but I'll try to go through oh the mud is too much like plants yeah the best thing with Ugandan markets is like they'll give you anything you want I once told you what limits you, what limits you is your your dimes your money is what limits limits you only that the quality needs to be improved the famous Ugandan avocado Yeah, finally here it's kind of dry the other side it was too messy the cucumber the cabbages when it comes to food we have the food only that some garlic over there there is imported one and the one that has been locally grown here and yeah I think I should get out from here 
So the other one is the lower section of the market. That one wasn't demolished. Of course, they demolished part and then left part of it. Yes, it's right. You're seeing KFC somewhere there. Most KFC branches are at Shell Fuel stations. We also have those. Of course, I know there are also big chain businesses. They're also part of us, part of the economy, part of Uganda. Some back on the layer. They haven't put concrete stones right here. So that is pumpkins. And by the way, I pointed at one of the jackfruit signs. Well, it was like it is 4,000 shillings, which is around one dollar and yeah, a few cents, roughly a dollar. Meaning, if you negotiate, you can get it at a dollar, which is less a pound. If I'm to gauge like that, it is less a pound. So that is the most important thing here. Food is available. What limits you is your money. And what you see there is silver fish. I don't know why some people hate it. Some people hate silver fish because of the weights. Can I say smells or stinks? It smells. People be like, no, if you eat silver fish, okay, it's, okay, it's known for misfortunes. That's what some people say. That you will not you will not get money. That it's like cheap, and you sur when you su surround yourself with cheap things, and you will forever have cheap things. So you need to try out expensive things. Eat silver fish today, tomorrow eat the whole fish, and the other day go to KFC, buy that biggest bucket of 120,000, which is around 15 dollars, like that. So you'll be able to chase away poverty. That's what people think. Let's continue towards the city. I don't know if you can, if you see the buildings, but all the buildings are seen here, from here. So the market still goes from here and way back the other side. So let's continue with the hunt for the Leire want you to see how it looks like, how everything looks like currently. Let me not walk on the slippers. They are changing from the steel slippers onto the concrete slippers. You can see that black thing. That is rubber put there for, to help in the construction and expansion of the layer. Of course, if you into physics or sciences you know why contraction and expansion is important in some things like the layer like the electricity lines that's why when it is cold the electricity lines are lagging and when it is shining they are 
they are tight like they tend to be too tight what can i say how can i say it when they are lagging and then when it is hot like they expand and like you can see the other one you can see those ones so when they when it is too hot every other pole pulls each other and then they are very straight how can i say that anyone help me drop what the word means okay what it simply means if it is contracted and how it expands around here it is banda and up the other side it is chambogo that is where chambogo is chambogo university also that side and this way are the ura towers right here those are the ura towers they are in nakawa around there that is nakawa and the city the other side the tallest towers the nssf towers in Nakasero, they are currently under construction, not yet released. Of course, the weather is not that bad. There is some sun somewhere here. Other parts it is dark. It is not shining, so chances of rain are high. According to my Google weather, chances of rain are high. See the clouds. But of course, these clouds can easily clear away. So these are some of the low end areas here. This is where those people stay around here. And well, I still have my jackfruit with me and I want to pause somewhere and do the rest for me. I'll come back after eating it. Of course, it's very, what can I say? It, it ripened from the tree. Not Most people get them raw and then they will ripen as they keep them but for us here we this one i've tested it i can easily identify a fresh jackfruit by just looking at it so when i reached upon it it was very fresh and you can see it's still it's sap is still fresh also see this is how it looks like when did you last have yourself some jackfruit and that is a fuel reserve it is a mogus fuel reserve just where people are residing in residence areas i think that would be a calamity once they caught fire just there the four huge tanks it would be a calamity if they caught fire i'm not saying they should catch fire but i'm just like if they caught fire if it so happened getting this jack of jackfruit out of these things is the hardest you see i've told it is fresh look at the sap so if it's not fresh it wouldn't it wouldn't have produced more sap even after cutting it so it is still fresh and i've removed some I'm going to be eating some what is this called a piece of jackfruit only that the sap comes onto the fingers generally this thing is flesh you can see it is fleshy and still fresh that's why I'm going about it like this. There are those that are more like fiber. When it grows more, when if it if it was left for another two days, it would be like fiber, but it is still here. It's eaten good when it is here. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So fresh. Look at my fingers. It's a tug of war getting out the jackfruit from me. Of course, it is the sweetest. You don't have to eat which one which is already removed like some people do in Italy, no, or in the US or in the UK, no. That's the baddest thing or that is the nasty thing. But well, it is tasty eating it this way and that's how I prefer it. That's how I grew up eating it. Only that after eating, you'll have to get some jelly and then smear onto your fingers and dwell with this whole sap. I think, let me continue. Of course, I had paused here. This is still the layer I'd post around here to have my meal. So I'm continuing with this, my left part. This is the only one that I'm left with. And soon you can see it is fleshy and fresh. That is the best jackfruit I would love. Not this that has spent like maybe a week after harvesting it and then you it is left to ripen while it's off the tree no it is supposed to 
ripen organically just like this and after here i'm going to clean my hands then continue with the quest for the uganda Leire revamption or upgrade and thank you for watching remember to like the video drop a comment let me know what you think and also someone complaining doesn't want to be captured in my video yet it is he thought i was filming from the other side anyway like the video drop a comment let me know what you think and yeah let's continue so around here it is mbuya and as well they are also dumping a rubbish here don't really know why because it is public land or it is land for the layer i don't know and that is even why there are those temporary structures people try to form temporary structures around there and then have their homes around there and there are several markets next to this layer i think i know of about four markets so around with, around there that's what i've just laid they've just put the slipper of course they're attached onto the uh, the slippers attached onto the lines and they just move them and then put them where they're supposed to be and then it is that machine or that can i call it a grader or what it is the one that carries them and then adjust them according to the height that they they are in and then these people fasten the nuts of course they set them with hands later bring a machine like you're seeing him there is going to bring a machine and then fasten the nuts there that is the machine and it is started the engine of the machine is started and then the nuts are fastened it's going to do that yeah it's like a power saw but this side with a system that fastens and yeah you're not by the you're not allowed you're not allowed to film from around here only if you are authorized that's why i'm just here with my phone you see those men in uniform those men in uniform will deal with you if they see you filming from around here and yeah many people many locals are around here watching seeing what is going on those are kids and the people the other side everyone is watching they they are seeing something new let's wait and see when everything is done but i hope it is better than what we think could have been at least the meter gauge layer, sorry the standard gauge layer should have been what the government was emphasizing at the moment instead of building this that is according to me and he is adjusting everything yeah accordingly and moving up. so around here they are just organizing everything putting making sure that it is in line and yeah hopefully 